Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I hope uh, I am up to 27 subscribers. Yeah, and I want to do something special. I'm going to do a giveaway. Yeah, I mean, your chances are pretty good, right? I mean, if I have 27 subscribers, uh, the chance of you winning the giveaway, one out of 27, right? All right, so uh, here, here's how it's going to work. Um, after this video, if you can just comment and say, I want to enter the contest in the comments, uh, I will pick the names out of a hat, not names, I will pick a name out of a hat right here on my channel. I'm going to do it next week. Let's say next week, I want to give people a chance. Okay, so I'm going to give it until Monday. Okay, so Monday evening, Okay, I will pick a name out of a hat and do a giveaway. I'm going to tell you what the giveaway is afterwards, okay? But I'm going to do a quick review on something that surprised me. Okay, it's the John Varvatos Nick. I said Nick. <laughs> is it Nick Jonas? I mean, is it sad that I don't know that? Nick Jonas? I have no idea. It's. I think it's Nick. I don't follow the Jonas Brothers, and and. I was surprised initially to see Vervetos do a collab with Nick Jonas because I always felt like John Vervetos was like rock and roll, right? And Nick Jonas is more pop. And then someone said to me, oh, well, Nick Jonas is going more rock now. So then I listened to his new album. It's not rock. It's, I, it's not rock. It's not rock. But anyway, I, not that I think it's bad. And, and uh, I thought, Jonas, Nick Jonas. I hope I'm saying this right. I'm going to feel like a fool. Should I look it up? should probably look it up. Uh, yeah, it's Nick Jonas. I was I was right. Look at that. I'm right. Because they don't, it's JV and NJ Crimson, apparently, is what, they, is what it's called. But anyway, so I'd, I'd spell, I had smelled the original collaboration, and I did not like it, and I didn't buy it. And, and I'd buy everything Varvatos. I have... I have to have almost, if not the entire collection, almost the entire Barbados fragrance collection, except for the Nick Jonas collab. So I didn't have high expectations, but I, I actually got it at Marshall's, and it was a blind buy because I was, it was like twenty nine dollars, and I said, all right, well, you know, for one point seven, I think this is. Oh, I'm sorry, two point five. Oh, nice for a two point five, and so I bought it, and I was to say. Pleasantly surprised would be an understatement. This is really good. This, okay, this with that little dangly thing right there. This is really, really good. Uh, right, so it has right away. You spray it, and I have a, I have a dry down. But let's do, let's do a fresh spray. Okay, atomizer is good. I think as usual. So right away, you get the green apple. So green apple, uh, there's a there's a rum, I guess, right? Is what they're saying there there's a rum, and, and I can smell that. Whenever I hear a fragrance that has rum, I don't know if you do this, I do every time. Whenever I hear a fragrance that has rum, I always go, "Would a pirate wear this?" I think a pirate may wear this. This this you can smell a little bit of the rum, but green apple, a little coffee in there. Uh, these are the top notes, right? Mill notes. Uh, there's, I guess there's some wood in, in the top notes as well, cedar. But uh, the middle notes are, are, are suede, amber, saffron, lavender, base notes, musk, incense, patchouli, labdanum, Madagascar vetiver. Not just vetiver, from Madagascar. Uh, so the, the, I like it. it. Oh, I was, when I put this on, I was surprised. I just sprayed out my hand last night and I'm like, whoa, this is good. This is surprisingly good. Listen, my favorite, I've had people compare this to Dark Rebel. It is not like that. Don't, I don't know. My nose is different. I don't, Dark Rebel is my favorite John Vervatos. It is. And I might review that sometime because I've had some really funny compliments with that. They're like compliments that I'm like, was that a compliment? But anyway, I, that, I digress. But th this does not sound like Dark Rebel. I don't know why anyone would say that. But 
This is sweeter, much sweeter. So you do have to like a sweet scent. I also believe this is not in the notes, but I believe there's a little Ambroxan in there. I believe that because it does almost have that Dylan Blue sweetness to it. If you if you know what I mean. If you have Dylan Blue, you know what that's that's like. And and I I feel like it has a little Ambroxan, but I have to tell you, here's the dry down. As it dries down, it softens a bit, but it's still sweet. You still have that rum, the green apple. And the coffee comes through a bit more as it dries down. It's better, I will say this, on the, on the strip, I think it the, the coffee comes through a bit more than it did for me yesterday. Although I always am spraying cologne. So yesterday I'm thinking, because it never, yesterday on my skin, as the day went on, it lasted, and let me just say, projected really well. I would say projected for about, projected for about two hours, I would say off my hand, but it was on me. Uh, I'd say, so I sprayed it on. I'm trying to think when I sprayed it on because it wasn't something I planned on doing. I didn't, I didn't plan on this being good. Uh, So I think, I think it lasted about six to eight hours on my skin, but I fell asleep and I could still smell it. So I fell asleep. I could still smell it when I woke up. I couldn't. So it was gone when I woke up this morning, but I'm guessing it lasted about six to eight hours on my skin, which is good, right? For, for a du toilette. So I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's good. I think, I also think it's ageless and I think it's seasonless. I do. I think that any age could wear this. I think young can get away with it because the Ambroxan gives it a little bit of that Dylan Blue, that little bit of that Sauvage feel. Uh, not, again, it doesn't smell like those. I'm just saying, you know, that Ambroxan smell, right? So I think that makes it where if you're younger, you could wear it. But I think the, I think the coffee, I think uh, the rum makes it smell a little older as well. So I, I think this is actually a hit. I think John Vervato's got it on this. And I, I've seen some mixed reviews on this. I don't know if I got a good batch. One thing I'll say, you cannot tell when you're when you're buying this, if you see it somewhere, it doesn't say crimson anywhere. You don't know which one you're buying. I, I got it by accident. I just, I picked it up thinking it was the one I didn't like. I'm like, ah, you know what? At this price, I'll get it just to add it to my collection. When I got it, it was the crimson. The only way you know, and I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give you this so that you know, the model number, and you can read this in the on the box as well. It's the only way you can tell because the box is black, just like the regular one. So, the only way you can know the model number last three digits are seven nine five. The last three digits are seven nine five, and that's the crimson. Okay, that's the crimson. Now, I loved it. I'm telling you now, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear it a lot. Okay, and, and to the point where I was like, hey, maybe I should get a backup. But instead of getting a backup, you know what I'm gonna do? Guess what I'm gonna do with this? This is a giveaway. Okay, this is a 2.5 fluid ounce. Okay, John Vervetos and Nick Jonas collab crimson. And I'm gonna give this unopened box away to someone here in my channel. And all you have to do is subscribe. So if you're subscribed already, you're good. But it, subscribe and then comment. And in the comments, say whatever you wanna say, but then I'd like to enter the contest. And then Monday evening, I will write all the, the usernames down of the people who commented and said, I want to enter the contest. And right in front of you here, I don't want any any shenanigans going on. I don't, I'm not just gonna like say, hey, here's who won. I'm gonna pick it out of a hat in front of you and whoever wins, I'll contact and I'll grab your address and I'm gonna send it to you. Has anyone ever done a giveaway with 27 subscribers? Anyone? I find it hard to believe because I only have 27 subscribers. Who does a giveaway? I do because I appreciate you. And I want to thank the people. You know, I, what a what a great what a great group you guys are. The people who follow me, commenting. I got a really really great comment today, and I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. I got to bring it up though, because I want to make sure I get the person's. What what's going on? Where is my 
Well, let me go to it here. I, I apologize for this. I should edit this, right? Maybe I'll edit it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Do you guys care? Do you guys care if I if I just sit here talking while I figure out who made this awesome comment? Um, so let's see here. Let's see. It was, yes, Dylan T. Dylan T. said he loves the style of the video. It's not a review, but a conversation with the viewers. And you know what? I think that is an awesome assessment. I appreciate that. I, it's not something I was like trying for, but I'm glad that you feel that way because that is the way I feel. And so Dylan T, thank you very much for that comment. You're awesome. But I want to thank everybody for your comments. I have some really great followers, um, all 27 of you, but the comments are awesome. And so again, this is the giveaway. I will, I don't know why it's why I do this. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so Monday evening, I will draw a name. So again, comment, whatever your comment is, it's fine. And then put, I want to enter the contest. And I will put your username into a hat. I will draw the winner Monday evening. All right. I want to thank all of you very much for watching this. I hope it was entertaining. And uh, we out. <laughs>